Hello children and welcome back. I hope you are taking good care of yourselves. And you know what children? When you take care of yourself, you remain happy and healthy. And what does that do to you? It makes you take interest in your studies. And you practice your recognition and writing of letters and numbers every day. And when you are practicing it every day, you will remember it. When you remember it, you can write and you can tell others. You can write it and show it to others. And everybody will be so proud of you. Ki, wow, look at these children. They know so many letters and numbers. They can recognize them. They can write them. So children, keep practicing. And for you, I have brought a new letter today. And that is letter Q. How can we recognize letter Q? Q is a big oval with a slanting line going out. Q is a big oval with a slanting line going out. Children, the line should be a slanting line. Alright? A slanting line which goes from inside to outside. Letter Q. And what is the sound that it makes? The sound this letter Q makes is Kuo. You know why I have put my finger on my lips? What does that mean? It means quiet. What does this mean? Quiet. So what was the sound that you heard when I said the word quiet? Kuo. Quiet. What is the sound you heard? Kuo. So remember, this is letter Q and Q makes the sound Kuo. Letter Q and Q makes the sound Kuo. Kuo. Quiet. Q also stands for Kuo. Queen. Kuwil. Kuwilt. Quail. Alright. So letter Q. Q makes the sound. Kuo. The action is. Kuo. And now let us see a few pictures of all those words which start with the sound. Kuo. Q for quilt. Children, you cover yourself with a quilt. Q for quilt. Q for queen. Q for quiet. Q for question mark. You ask questions, don't you? But if you have to write them, you put a question mark. So Q for question mark. Children, remember letter Q and Q makes the sound Kuo. Cool. 